welcome back to the Global Crusade with Kamui, GCK Daily, where we feature God's awesome works and wonders at the Global Crusades. Sickness and disease has battled mankind and has often crippled and limited us in this journey we call life. And at times, the reality of our afflictions leave us fearful and unsure of the usefulness of our faith. But in Acts chapter 10, verse 38 reminds us that God in Christ is here today and ready to demonstrate His healing power in our hearts, our minds, our spirits and bodies. Yes, indeed, of His Spirit's life and fullness, all His members still may share. I dare you to believe, watch and partake of the promise of Pentecost as Pastor W.F. Kamui guides us through a tangible experience of God's love and power. Jesus, what a name. He is here with you right now. Jesus Christ is the one appointed of God, anointed of God, accepted of God, approved of God among you. Is there tonight among you? In our midst tonight, our Lord is there. Our Savior is there. Our Redeemer is there. Our Healer is there. Approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by Him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also know. We're hearing testimonies from all over the world. What Christ has done what Christ is doing, what Christ has the power, the authority, and the anointing to do, as ye yourselves also know, as you yourself from tonight will know it in your life, will know it in your family, will know it in your experience in Jesus' name. And then, as you look at verse 39 of that same chapter, it says, For the promise is unto you. He had told us of the past, what Christ did before his crucifixion, before his resurrection. Now, he says, it doesn't stop there. He did it in the past. And it is doing it today. And I want to tell you, all the testimonies you have heard, this year alone, I've seen Christ do marvelous, wonderful things. It's opened the eyes of the blind. He has made the lame to walk. He has mended broken bones. He has repaired enlarged hearts. He has healed tuberculosis. He has healed cancer. He has raised the people. At the brink of death, almost dying, he raised them up. And he has healed COVID-19 pandemic. And the miracle of the Lord has been marvelous and multiplied in very many lives. And now, here comes your turn. For the promise is unto you. For the provision is unto you. For the prophecy is unto you. For the power is unto you. For the manifestation is unto you. A manifestation coming upon your life. Impossibility will become impossible. The incredible, the unbelievable will happen in your life as you connect with that promise, with that prophecy, with that provision and with the power of the Lord tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen to the word of faith and amen to the spirit of faith who believe that the manifestation of Christ's healing power is flowing into your lives today as God's servant has declared. Now many have experienced this reality that healing is the children's bread. And it's a good exercise and food for our faith to hear from those who God has visited. It's wonderful and reassuring to know that when science has done its best and reached its limits, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Here are some testimonies of God's faithfulness to some who, like Mary, chose to believe his word. I urge you to exercise your faith by believing as you listen.
my name is Oniola Niwaji. Last year, I was diagnosed of perica, massive uh, perica effusion, which means there are a lot of fluid in my heart. I did some surgery, and after the surgery, uh, histology, then I did another surgery, and a mass was removed from my chest. And it went for tests, and it came out that I have primary carcinoma, which is a form of cancer. After the first chemo, which was a little bit terrible, I, I collapsed. I spent about a week in the hospital. Then after that week, I joined Global Crusade. I was in September. I joined them online. Usually in the evening, I participate in their prayer. And on a particular day, on a particular day, believing in God, I feel some sensation, but I, then I believe that I've been healed. I strongly believe that I've been healed. This year, January, I did another test. To the glory of God, that there's no form of what, no form of cancer in my chest, because actually it has spread from my chest, to my heart, to my lung, and everything was cleared. And this is a miracle. There's no, there's no other word to describe it. It's a miracle, and it's a miracle that needs to be shared and needs to be told that. Everyone should know that word, that what God cannot do does not exist. Yes, I need to thank God for the life of Pastor Kumuyi for giving us this opportunity of joining online. Online miracle, online service is, a, is an avenue for people like us that are maybe in-house, incapacitated to participate in the glory and the wonderful work of God. Thank you and I give glory and return honor and adoration to the Almighty God, to my Christ, my savior and my personal savior. My name is Adamu Gani Atfulani from Alaro village. I've been deaf for over 20 years ago now. And I was invited to a crusade held at a Bayesa State in Chaki region area. There, after the prayer, Pastor Kumuyi prayed, and after the prayer, I could hear something went out of, of my ear. Boom! And I immediately I can hear everything audibly. Praise ye the Lord. Eti mama, o ti di o le ogu odon. Mhm. Mm boy o ba. do 20 years. Eh, 20. Ati ba tu yi o ti ti ni ti di ti won ogon re keke. Mhm. Ngba ti baba ku mi ti n wa asu. Eti wa si. Ti ti n gboro bayi dada. Wow. What a testimony. What a mighty God. Our God is truly an awesome God, isn't He? He is indeed our Savior and Healer for all of our afflictions. Here are three things we can take away from the testimonies we just listened to. Number one, God is ready to heal the afflictions of all His people. Number two, His power is enough to heal and keep us whole. And thirdly, God alone provides complete healing. Now, God's choice servant whom he has used in all these crusades, Pastor W.F. Kumi, is here tonight to exercise that dynamic faith that moves the hand, that moves the world. Now, I believe you're ready to experience the same miracles and even greater miracles than what we've just heard as God's servant leads us in prayer. I want you to stretch out your hands by faith as the prayer of faith heals all your sicknesses. My miracle is here. True, 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 true. My miracle is here. Testimony in your mouth tonight. Heaven is ready for you now. Where are you? Raise up the hand and lay the hand in the place you have the trouble. If you are blind, your eyes are going to open. You are lame. You are going to rise up and walk. The power of heaven 
is going to touch your life at this very time in Jesus' name. Anywhere you are, any country, any state in Nigeria, any state in any country of the world, or you are by yourself there, we are connecting you with heaven now. And when you hear the final amen, that miracle would have been there. Yeah. Father, we come before you. You are the God that cannot fail. You've told us already that the promise is unto us. The power is for us. The miracle explosion is for us. And the healing, the deliverance, everything heaven has to offer is for us. There's no exception tonight. Send forth your power. Heal your people in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, whatever the oppression, whatever the attack, cancel it now in Jesus' name. Brain problem, madness, insanity, psychological problem, be removed in Jesus' name. Blindness, the Lord is touching your eyes right now. Those blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. <laughs> Deaf and dumb, receive your miracle in Jesus' name. <laughs> swelling in the tummy, swelling at the back, swelling of goiter on the neck, swelling in the feet, elephantiasis. Be healed in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, so called cancer, ulcer, tuberculosis, kidney problem, respiratory problem, long standing problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Pain at the back, in the head, in the spine, anywhere in the body. Be healed in Jesus' name. Curse, yoke, affliction, enemies' affliction, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, everywhere, to the right, to the left, in front of me, anywhere you hear the sound of my voice, receive your miracle now in Jesus' name. Online, in every country, at the message, the ministration, the prayer, getting to you now, you are healed in Jesus' name. Lord, let there be confirmation everywhere, performance everywhere. Miracle explosion everywhere. And the things impossible for man, possible for God, do it now, Lord. Confirm your miracle everywhere. In Jesus' name, I pray. It has happened. As you check yourself to find your miracle is there right now. Thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of GCK Daily. We pray that you were blessed and have experienced God's healing power. We're sure that you received a miracle and the divine touch. And we want to rejoice with you and hear of those testimonies that leave us breathless and excited at the mercy, grace, and power of our mighty God. Please visit us at www.dclm.org forward slash testimony to share these stories with us. We'll be glad to hear from you. In addition, Jesus said to the disabled man at the pool of Bethesda, after his miraculous healing in John chapter five, verse 14, and he said, go and sin no more. Sin robs us of the blessings of God, so make a firm commitment to follow Christ all the days of your life.
and get into a believing Bible church and make achieving heaven your goal. Thanks for being a part of GCK Daily. We post new videos right here on a regular basis to keep you strengthened in your faith. When you share and subscribe to our channel, it helps us spread this life-saving message across the entire globe. Please let us know if you've been impacted by our ministry in the comment section below. Keep in touch with us on all our social media platforms, and we look forward to connecting with you as you join us from across the world at the next Global Crusade from June 23rd to the 28th. Thank you.